Now that you understand care responsibility, let's look at how it can be used in the workplace. Deborah makes sure that her pager is silenced before entering into business meetings. That's care responsibility for you. Marcus is the office manager. He speaks calmly and slowly to all of his employees. That's care responsibility for you. Barb takes the time to reassure a shareholder that everything's on the up and up, and it's going to stay that way. That's care responsibility for you. Maynard comes from a broken home. He was raised by a single father, spent a year in the hospital, and graduated high school late. But he doesn't mention these things at the office, and he doesn't use foul language. That's care responsibility for you. This is Jonathan's first week on the job. He fills out complaint reports for all of his co-workers, just in case they step out of line. That's care responsibility for you. Dan gives everyone at the office a secret Santa present, even though he converted to Judaism one year ago today. That's care responsibility for you. This is Roger and Clarence. They wear polo shirts on Fridays, and whenever they feel like doing a really loud high five, they make sure to move it outdoors. That's care responsibility for you.